Oh, like, so it's like... Yeah. Hey, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki. I'm Adam. And today's video we have a grocery haul but it's a little different because we went somewhere that we have never been before. Uh, to be honest we were pretty disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel and we can go ahead and get started talking about we went to two places today so we decided to make the drive out to Whole Foods because we had never been there before I've always wanted to go there and just check it out I honestly knew nothing about it I figured it'd be pretty similar to Mariano's which we live pretty close to Mariano's so I thought maybe it'd be like that which it kind of was but it was like a 35 minute drive out there, which isn't that bad. So we made the drive out there. We're highly disappointed because we found the prices were extremely high. Yeah, it was honestly a lot of the same products that we already buy or we see places. Some of them are hard to find, but for the price even, like, it was just frustrating. Yeah. But anyway, we just got a few things from there just to try some new things. A few things we knew we needed that weren't too crazy in price. So then we ended up going to Trader Joe's to get the rest of the stuff that we needed, which we love Trader Joe's. <laughs> we found what we needed and it went well there, so... We're gonna go ahead and go through that today, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with Whole Foods, which like I mentioned, we really didn't get much. We walked pretty much the entire store, but we're pretty disappointed, and it was kind of busy there. So what we did get, I needed zucchini, and I have to say the zucchini actually looked really good, so I was happy about that. I got these to make some pepper zucchini mix for the week. We're gonna be going into pre-orders, and it's gonna get pretty busy around here, so I'm trying to really prep up for the week and just make sure we have some food on hand and some food prepped on hand. So that's why I'm going to try to get these. I already have a bag of peppers from Sam's Club out in the fridge in the garage that I never went through. Then we're going to be having tacos. So I'm going to make some pico de gallo. I just like to get Roma tomatoes when I make pico de gallo. They're easy to cut and they just work really well with it. The flavor is perfect and it's just really good for pico. And then I just got this of cilantro, which even this was like $1.50. It was like crazy how expensive a thing of cilantro was. Okay, so then we got this. <laughs> oh, we just had to get this once we picked it up. I just... This is a purple sweet potato. So we've never tried a purple sweet potato before, and I honestly don't know anything about them, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to make a meal with them. So that's what this is. Adam, pick this up. <laughs> okay, then I also grabbed this small thing of mushrooms. I wanna make some like crab spinach stuffed mushrooms. So I just got a small container because I've never made them before. So I'm just gonna make a small batch for us to try. Then we needed some more light mayonnaise, so I thought we could try some organic light mayo. For one tablespoon, it's two points. I use that mostly for tuna salad or egg salad or just sandwiches. Then I love my Greek yogurt tzatziki dip, so I saw that they have this. So 365 is the Whole Foods brand, and so it's just Whole Foods, tzatziki, cucumber dill. Two tablespoons of this dip is one point, or 35 calories, so that'll be really good for bowls. I think when you go up to three tablespoons, it's two points, but that's not a big deal, and it sounds pretty good, so that'll be nice to have. Okay, so then we got some Ezekiel. We got the flax this time. Adam uses this for his lunches, for his lunch meat sandwiches, and I like to use it for breakfast sandwiches. It's really good toasted or just in the air fryer. One slice is 80 calories or one point. If you have two slices, it goes up to three points. And the thing about this that was annoying too, so we got this at Whole Foods for like $7, and then when we went to Trader Joe's, it was like $5. So it was just frustrating that we, the prices were just crazy. <laughs> but this stuff we love. Okay, then I have heard from multiple people that Trader Joe's is discontinuing their queso. So I have been on a hunt for queso because that's just one of my favorite ingredients when I'm making a Mexican bowl. And that's the sauce I like to use. Sometimes I'll use sour cream. I like salsa, but I also like to mix in some queso with the rice and the veggies. It's so good. So I'm upset that Trader Joe's is going to be discontinuing it, but I found this one at Whole Foods. It is a jalapeno queso. It's very similar with ingredients. It's two tablespoons is one point, so it's pretty similar to the Trader Joe's. We're going to test this out and see what we think. Again, it'll be mainly for bowls. I don't really eat like just chips and queso. A lot of times I like to have chips with salsa. Okay, and it's actually, Adam just double checked, so it is actually the same as the Trader Joe's queso where you can have up to five tablespoons for one point. So like I said, it's very similar ingredients and everything. I think it's probably going to taste pretty similar so I might have a replacement for that. Then I have been eating chicken sausage a lot lately and so 
We've gotten a few products from Amy Lou and we really like them. Uh, and I've really been liking the Trader Joe's roasted garlic and Asiago chicken sausages. So I thought we would try these. It's 100 calories for one link. What I like about this is that they come individually packaged. So, so many times I'll open our sausages and then I can't go through a pack fast enough. So I really like that this is like this because once you open them, they go bad quicker. But anyway, it's 100 calories for one link or two points and it's got 12 grams of protein. So again, it's just like a filling quick snack that I like to make or it's just quick and convenient for meals. If I don't have time to make some sort of meat for like pasta or something, this is really good with pasta or with eggs. Okay, so these I've gotten multiple times. We really, really like this crust. It is the Bonza brand. So it's made from chickpeas. It is gluten-free. I really like the flavor of it. It kind of reminds me of home run in pizza, but like a lighter, healthier version. It is 300 calories for half of the crust or 10 points. So then pretty much I just put some tomato sauce, maybe some turkey pepperoni, some veggies. I don't really put that much and then some cheese. And so it's just a good homemade pizza that you can make with this. It's convenient to have in the freezer. And I don't know, I just really enjoy this stuff and it's not always the easiest to find. We needed more panko breadcrumbs, so I just grabbed the Whole Foods brand. It was a lot cheaper than the other brands, and I just needed plain panko, so nothing specific with this. Uh, this is what I use for turkey burgers, meatballs. If I bread anything, we might be doing some breaded chicken that I'll like season with this, and so that's why I like to have this. I also needed some rice vinegar. So this one said it was sodium-free and sugar-free. I don't know what kind I usually get. I don't think I usually get the sodium-free, sugar-free, or maybe it just says that, but anyway. I use this for a lot of different Asian dishes that I make. It makes a really good sauce with some toasted sesame oil and soy sauce. And so I just needed some more of this. We just finished our last bottle. Okay, then the two best things that we found at Whole Foods. We haven't been able to find these since they were at Sam's Club, but we did. Of course, they were. it was two for six, which I think we used to buy that huge bag at Sam's Club for like $5, so that's always upsetting. But these have been hard to find. These are the Spudzy Sweet Potato Puffs in Cinnamon Churro. These are... Hard to put down once you start eating them. I've actually heard from so many people that they love them, but they find that they're just like, they sit down and eat the whole bag. So it is important to portion out if you are really trying to be careful with that. The serving size is 150 calories for an ounce or five points. And it's just such a good dessert. I love that it's crunchy. It's got such a good cinnamon flavor. And yeah, if you can find these, I highly recommend them. But like I said, maybe weigh out the portion or just be mindful of the fact that they are easy to eat a lot of quickly because they are very good. And then this, I ordered these on Amazon a while, while back. Uh, sometimes I'll just go on Amazon and find just like different type of like healthier snacks that they have and we'll just order them and try them out because or it's something I've heard of and I just wanted to try. I think this one I had seen like an Instagram ad about and I just figured I would try it but this is Craze. These are their sweet corn chips. They are so good and I haven't had them since I ordered them because I've never seen them really in stores. Uh, so I also got these. These are the plantain version of them. Okay, so both of these are the same points for us. It is four for nine crackers. They are big crackers and that's what I like about them and they're just so crunchy and flavorful. I This is the only flavor I've tried and I love it, but I'm gonna go ahead and open these up to try right now. But the serving is 120 calories for both of them. So for nine crackers, it's 120 calories. So see, they're just like this giant, watch out. You have to come on camera. There you go. See, they smell, they smell like plantain. Cheers. Ooh, cheers. I like it. Whoa, wait. They like good sweet. It's like banana, but without mm. banana. Yeah. You know what good. I mean? <laughs> I think that this would be good with soup. This has like kind of like a sweet aftertaste. It definitely tastes like plantains. But I know that I like these ones better. So these are the corn ones. I just love how big the crackers are. Like, they're just giant. Here you go. These ones are good. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -oh. Cheers, your mom. Okay. <laughs> I love these. Okay, so that was everything from Whole Foods. So really, we didn't get much, but we got the rest from Trader Joe's. So here's what we got from Trader Joe's. I needed some... Organic foursome vegetable medley. It is the four veggies that we like to use for our fried rice So it's got corn peas carrots and green beans And then I just use that with a bag of that cauliflower sweet potato rice I throw in some regular jasmine rice some egg some sauce and then it just makes the best fried rice So that's why I grabbed this we needed some more bananas. I have some older bananas that I'm gonna go ahead and freeze so that we have these for baked oats or Adam to just bring to work for the week 
Then we needed some baby cukes. So I mainly use these mini cucumbers for bowls. So Greek bowls, they're really good or poke bowls like with seafood. It's very similar to like sushi. Uh, but also we like to just use these with some different dips sometimes. If you just want like a crunchy light snack, it actually is pretty filling to have this with some of this, which this is the buffalo style chicken dip. This has quickly become my favorite buffalo dip actually, and it's because it's really runny and I like that about it. I do like the one from Sam's Club that's a little thicker, it's more like a cream cheese base, uh, but I've really been liking this one. So this is three points for two tablespoons or 60 calories, and I just have to buy my own now because... Adam has all his others. He has the one from Aldi, and honestly, I don't really like the one from Aldi, so he's gotten me on a buffalo chicken dip, but I like this one the best. We've been making potatoes a lot more in the air fryer, so I just grabbed some regular potatoes. I've actually liked slicing them up and then just a little bit of olive oil spray and some seasoning, and they can make really good potato chips in the air fryer. But I also make them cubed for breakfast burritos and bowls. I'm gonna be making some recipes with spinach, so I grabbed this, just some baby spinach. This might be something that we just throw into smoothies as well if we don't use it all for the recipes, but that's pretty much what I use this for. And then some of this shredded cabbage mix. So it's got red cabbage, green cabbage, and orange carrots, which is perfect for the sesame noodles I like to make. So I just heat this up in a skillet with some toasted sesame oil, and then I throw in the rest of the stuff. So the noodles, uh, sometimes I throw some peanuts, some crab, some shrimp. It's just a bunch of different stuff, but this stuff is so convenient to just get a pre-sliced bag of the cabbage. Okay, so we like the mini version of these cauliflower little rounds, but I saw that they had pizza crust this time. So I think this has a little bit more flavoring in it, but what it is, is it's just a pizza crust made out of cauliflower. It is 120 calories for one crust, uh, but it's got 10 grams of protein, so that's really good. And one crust is three points. And so the bag comes with two of them. I just think that'd be really good to make just like a quick lunch for Adam and I, or even dinner, honestly. Uh, but I just thought those would be good to try because we do like the mini ones that they have that are just plain. I needed some more cashew milk, which I didn't find any just plain cashew milk, but they had this that was almond, cashew, and macadamia nut beverage. So this is just a non-dairy option. I'm not really picky about almond and cashew milk, but I've been trying different ones. And so I thought we'd give this one a try. So it's 30 calories for a cup or one point, but usually I don't even use a full cup. Usually it's like a couple tablespoons in a recipe or... I use a decent amount for a smoothie, but never really the point serving. Okay, then I grabbed this Parmesan Romano and Asiago cheese. This will just be for different recipes. For one tablespoon or five grams, it's 20 calories or one point. And yeah, I just needed some more. I was going to get fresh Parmesan, but I decided to get this because it has all three of them. And we like the flavor of it. We needed some ground turkey, and I like that Trader Joe's has the 99% lean, so I just got that. It's zero points or 120 calories for the serving, which is also 28 grams of protein. So this we use mostly for turkey meatballs or turkey burgers. Some frozen things we got. These are so good. These are the steamed chicken soup dumplings, and we just like to make these when we have like fried rice as a meal or something. These are a good side with them. Or if we make some type of rice bowl or something, we just use these for dinner a lot of the time. And we each get our own container because it each comes with six dumplings and we eat them all. And it's seven points for the whole box, so really not bad, or 250 calories. Then I actually made this the other night for the first time. This is their chicken chow mein, and I really enjoyed it. So. It's really simple. You pretty much just throw the noodles, chicken, and veggies in a saucepan. You cook it up for like seven minutes, I think. And then you just put the sauce on it and it's done. So I made that with some little dumplings and that was our meal. And it was just super quick and easy. And honestly, those are just the best meals to have on hand when I'm busy with work or Adam gets home late from work or something. It's just really convenient to have these meals that don't make us feel like fast food used to make us feel because this would be a type of meal we would order out and it would be super greasy and so it still satisfies that craving. It tastes really good and it's super convenient but doesn't make us feel the way that certain food used to. Okay, so this entire bag comes out to 15 points. Uh, if you divide it, the serving is a third of the package. So that's five points for 200 calories and like I said, this is another one. I made it quickly last night, but you could even add a little bit more chicken. You could add more vegetables. That's what I like to do with a lot of these Trader Joe's frozen meals. So really good to have on hand. Okay, then these we had gotten a while back, and I haven't seen them since. So I don't know if this Trader Joe's was different and just happened to have them. But this is their breaded chicken nuggets. These are gluten-free, and they actually are raw. We learned that because we tried to cook them in the air fryer and realized that the insides were still raw. So they do need to be fully cooked. 
For four pieces of this chicken, it is five points or 200 calories. And like I said, we air fried it and it's really good in the air fryer. Just make sure that it's cooked all the way through. But this is the type that is really good at like holding sauce. Like it's breaded, but you could like toss it with sauce and it would be really good. So I really like these chicken nuggets. So I just grabbed these because I've just been adding like a handful to different like Asian dishes or like I said, the sesame noodles I've been making. So I just needed to have more of these on hand and I just got the ones that were less salt. Then I got the last jar of queso, which like I mentioned before, I've heard from many different people that they are discontinuing this queso. So I got the last jar. So I'm gonna let this last. It expires in September, 2023. So we'll see. <laughs> We'll see how long it lasts. But anyway, this is just the best for bowls, like I mentioned before. And now I can actually compare it to the other one that I bought from Whole Foods and see really how different they are. But it's 20 calories for two tablespoons or one point, and it's just good to have on hand. Adam needed some more hot sauce, so he just always gets this chili pepper sauce. It's a pretty much like a spicier version of Taco Bell mild sauce. And then we also got these blue corn taco shells. The serving size is two shells. It's 130 calories for two of them or four points. And we just thought it'd be something different to try. Uh, I like hard shell tacos from Taco Bell all the time, but I never actually buy hard shells to have at home. We always just do the soft ones. So I don't know, I just thought this would be something to mix it up in their blue corn, which we really like. So we got that for taco night. We got these noodles that are my favorite. These are their Thai wheat noodles. So I've mentioned before what I like about these is that it comes with three of these packs in there of the sealed noodles. It's just convenient that there's three packs. And actually when I make the recipe, I use two at a time. And it's just perfect for sesame noodles. You can throw a bunch of veggies in, you can throw some different seafood in or chicken. One package is 310 calories or eight points. These are just something that I will always have on hand now because once I've tried them, they are just so good. That is one of my favorite dishes is sesame noodles with like different seafood like I mentioned. So I always have those on hand now. I've been getting a lot of questions about why I don't eat brown rice, why I choose to eat jasmine rice. And if I'm being honest, it's because the last time I had brown rice, it was like minute rice and I really did not like it. Uh, probably because it was minute rice. I don't really know, but I decided to give it another try. So I got these because we have these of the jasmine rice and we really like them. And I figured that would just be a convenient way to try it with different bowls and stuff. So this is just regular brown rice. It's divided into three different bags and each bag has two cups in it. So a cup is the serving size, one cup is 200 calories or five points or technically would be zero if brown rice is one of your free foods. It isn't one of our foods that is free so it wouldn't be zero for us. But that's gonna be something new for me to try. I also found that they had brown jasmine rice. So I've never even heard of that before but I thought that this would be another good thing for us to try. This one for the serving is 160 calories or five points again. I don't know if it would make a difference if brown jasmine rice counts as one of the free zero point foods if that's one of your foods, but I'm excited to try this. Then we got some of this snack bar mix. This is our third container we've gotten of this stuff. It's so good. It's just like a basic snack mix. It's got some like sesame. It's got these that are almost like goldfish, so that's what I like. Uh, it's got some honey roasted peanuts the honey mustard pretzels, chili lemon corn sticks. So it's just a really flavorful mix. And a third cup of it is four points or 160 calories. So this is something that I just kind of snack on every once in a while, but it's just a good flavorful snack to have with like a chomps or an apple or something. And then the last thing we got, which we shouldn't have because Adam and I have been fighting over these. These are <laughs> delicious. They are candy cane chocolate covered almonds. So they have chocolate, but then they also have white chocolate with candy cane. So good, so good. So good. <laughs> they are 160 calories for nine pieces or eight points. So it's something that after dinner I have like two of them and it's just like a good, well, sometimes I have two, sometimes I have more. <laughs> but I don't know, it's just a really good treat that we found that we really like. So we got more of those. Okay, so that wraps up everything we got from Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. I really am curious to hear what you guys think about Whole Foods. Honestly, I didn't know much about it before we went. I just knew that, I feel like I've always heard really good things about how amazing it is and we were kind of let down. So let me know you guys, your thoughts on Whole Foods, but I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and found it helpful and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.